YouTubers, welcome back to my channel and my tutorial. Today we're gonna treat a crystal like this to actually polish the termination only. Specifically in this specimen here, which is a very rare stone. It is a quartz with agioite inside. This quartz comes from Messina, which is at the border between Zimbabwe and South Africa, and apparently was the only mine only mine there, uh, from the only mine which exists, which is there, and it's a stock of 1984. I have the blessing to actually know the guy which uh, secured for himself 95% of the extraction of this mineral, and so it makes it very, very rare on Earth, at least the ones coming from this region of the planet. Okay, this is just to show you more in detail what I'm talking about. As you can see, this beautiful green, blue green inclusion there, that's what we are after. I'm gonna remove all the excess material on top to make it more evident. I wanna polish these terminations too. You know, uh, I'm using a facet from machine, but you could use any spinning device which can drive uh, diamond coated laps or if you really want and you have plenty of time to invest you can also use a grinding machine keeping it always wet with you know like an angle grinder keeping it always wet with um, grits going from rough ones like maybe 180 going up to 400 600 Maybe if you find it 800 grit, always keeping it moist, and then you gotta be like polishing it. That would be my probably a problem. You can polish it uh, on the felt, but uh, let's see. I'll show you how to do it on the lapping machine or a facetron, and then you can decide what to do. Okay, we start with 180 grit sintered lap. You see the grooves here. Yeah, this one it's quite fast. And we're gonna act free-handed, so we don't need the head of a fastron, we just need his spinning capability. So let's start removing these things. want to show you the beauty in the crystal okay you stop for a minute you see that that's what we like we are after the edge right okay we continue cleaning it up cleaning uh, keeping always the same uh, inclination more or less and then we see you as I finish all the facets Okay, as you can see, I already did most of the facets on top, just rough them up and clean. I wanted to show you the layer of this quartz here, probably with iron. What we are looking for is for a surprise inside. We don't really know what's going on underneath this layer, but we know that probably something is lurking underneath. Because here you see you got this beautiful blue blue green coming out so what we're gonna do is just remove this peel and see if underneath there is something hidden probably something beautiful so let's grind it out short update of what I discovered <laughs> you see underneath the peel that what was lurking there is a bit of uh, blue-green thing inside it's more like um, 
almost like a, um, a landscape or a garden. We still have this facet to go. Then I'll show you the final effect roughed up. Okay? So let's remove this stuff on top and discover what, what's underneath. You have to hold the stone quite strongly sometimes because it, it tends to grab it. to keep the, 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 the grease and inclinations of the naturals as they are. So what I've learned, what I can suggest to understand what's going on, you take a permanent marker or a paint marker and you put it onto the facet you're doing not to get lost. So as you grind out you will see what you're doing. I'll show you. <laughs> You keep it on that direction, on that uh, inclination, and you finish the facet. As you can see, I clean up all the, the excess material on top of the agitite. Agitite, sorry. And yeah, now we're going for a thinner grit, finer grit to well define the stone and to take up these chips from the top. I'll show you how. Going ahead using a master lap, this is aluminium and these thin discs you can buy online uh, different grids. This is a 400 and this is a 600. So, first we go with 400 to smoothen up nicely the stone, and then a 600 as a poly pre polish. And I'll show you the differences. Let's go. Okay, the beauty of the color underneath coming out. See? Yeah, let's go on. So now we go with the 600. push it towards that direction to cover this. finer than the 600 I'm going to go this is a 600 right tech uh, new bond lab which uh, claim to cut like a 1200 which would be perfect for us, our, our pre-polish so we just go on you know, every single facet as we did before this uh, master lap in aluminium and we put on uh, a lap made of um, felt as you can see it's all colors because of a different polish I use for other stones too what we're going to use is a little bit of 
polish this stone, we're gonna use a bit of cerium oxide. Okay. And I'll put also a bit of diamond powder. Just kidding. No. Um, and that's it, it should be fine. Just make it moist with a bit of water. So it becomes like, become like a paste. Mm -hmm. Massage it nicely. You could use other labs, like uh, for example, you can use a tin lab or a lead. Left, but it's not gonna for, forgive you like this one because this one goes, you know, it gets the shape of the, of the facets you are polishing. So if you did mistakes, it's gonna forgive you much more. And you just work it out in the coming out. And as you can see it, there are some scratches will go away now. But uh, yeah, we're already starting achieving a polishing. Okay. So let's go on. I'm gonna give uh, polish to all the uh, polishing to all the, the facets and then I'll show you the final result. <laughs> every single fa facet here as you can see I just have to clean it a bit because it's full of uh, the polish and then we observe it nicely okay stay tuned okay I clean it nicely with my trusty toothbrush and a bit of soap to remove most of the polish. For the rest, uh, I think the best would be to just put it inside of the ultrasound machine. So it will get rid of all these things which can't inside. But here it is, see? The polish is very high. You can even see the structure of the crystal of the quartz. Can you see? Okay. So I reach a very high polished polishing with the um, sodium oxide, a bit of a diamond dust, 15,000 grit. So you can see the agarite inside of the of the quartz. This is a very rare crystal. Like I said, it was only one mine. In Messina, South Africa, and so if you want some of it, you just have to send me a query and we discuss. I can send you the pictures of some samples, some materials, and then uh, we take it from there. Okay. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, it wasn't that difficult, the polishing took about 40, 45 minutes, 50 minutes 
Um, yeah, it wasn't that difficult, not too challenging. Um, yeah, well, it's apl applicable to any crystal, especially quartz, so terminated quartz. You can use it for rose quartz, uh, gray quartz, transparent quartz, and also other kind of materials. For topaz or, you know, anything which has a nice shape and you don't want to cut, actually. You just want to leave it in its original shape and just give it a polish. Right. So if you, if you like the video, please like it. And then if you like the channel, subscribe. So to, stay, so to stay tuned for the next videos and tutorials. Okay, thank you very much for watching and God bless you. Bye bye.